adding in a maximized conversions or a maximized conversion value bidding strategy to a Google Ads campaign can be the best decision or the absolute worst decision that you can ever make. And unfortunately, many people add in one of these bidding strategies way too early. I wanna be clear that that is not a mistake of business owners or Google Ads specialists because Google Ads have become super aggressive when it comes to giving you constant recommendations in Google Ads and also getting their reps to call you and just basically continuing to say, add maximized conversions, add maximized conversions. And unfortunately, this can lead to the exact opposite result that business owners wanna see. When you add in a maximized conversions or a maximized conversion value bidding strategy, like the name suggests, you're adding this in so that you can drive more conversions or drive more sales and revenue. But if you add it too early, the actual opposite happens. You see a increase in CPC, a drop in total volume, which leads to lower results. So less sales and less conversions for your business. So in this video, I wanna take you through the golden rules for Google Ads bidding strategies. And then we're also gonna take you through a checklist that I use, which really helps me to make the decision on whether an account is ready to add in one of these bidding strategies. The other thing that I do wanna stress for success with Google Ads is that you don't only need to get your bidding strategies right, but you also need to be having a strategy for optimizing your Google Ads campaigns. And the great news is, is that I've created an updated Google Ads optimization checklist, which covers all of the different types of campaigns that you need to be using this year. So search, shopping, performance max, display, demand gen, and video is all in this checklist. And if you want to get access to that checklist, all you need to do is to follow the link in the description below. And the great thing about my updated Google Ads optimization checklist is it doesn't only list what you need to complete, but it also gives you a schedule of how often you should complete those checks and allows you to have spaces to create notes. And a bit of a background of this checklist is that this is a checklist that I developed for digital agencies when I was consulting in different roles as their head of digital. So it's a really, really relevant and easy to use checklist, regardless of whether you are new or experienced with Google Ads. But right now, let's get into those golden rules of bidding strategies for Google Ads. And there's actually five golden rules which I'm gonna be sharing with you. And the first one is the easiest and the most important, and that is that if you are unsure, just wait. What I mean by that is that if you're getting a recommendation from your Google Ads dashboard or from a Google rep to add in a maximized conversions or a maximized conversion bidding strategy, or if you're seeing the data and you think your account may be ready, but you're just a little bit unsure, what I'd be saying is wait. There is nothing wrong with waiting another two weeks or even another month or two months until you're ready to add in one of those strategies. For me, generally, I will wait as long as possible to add in a maximized conversions or maximized conversion bidding strategy. So it's not something that you do, you know, within the first week, within the first month, or even within the first three months of a new campaign. Generally, not switching over to a smart bidding strategy until we're we're about four to six months into the campaign. Now, there are always some different rules and things like that, depending on what you want to be achieving in your account. But as a general rule of thumb, especially for search and shopping campaigns, I would not be switching over to a smart bidding strategy, at least until that four month mark, but usually I'm waiting up until about six months. And this brings us into the second rule, and that's that you want to be making changes on larger chunks of data. So what I mean by making changes, you want to either be introducing one of these smart bidding strategies or introducing a target role or a target CPA off larger amounts of data. Don't just look at the data over the last seven days or the last 14 days. I like to be looking at data in periods of six weeks or 12 weeks. And then I don't look at the daily average. I also look at the weekly average. And the reason for why I look at the weekly average as opposed to the daily average is because a byproduct of maximized conversion strategies is that you'll see your spending go up and down. You'll see your conversions go up and down. And the reason for that is because you have given control over to Google to say bid more aggressive when you think I'm going to get more conversions and pull back on the spending when you think I'm just going to be wasting your money. So that's why you always want to be looking at larger chunks of data. Golden rule number three, and this is all about when you're ready to set a target ROAS or a target CPA, and you want to set any targets based on the real results, not what you want to achieve. And what I mean by that is that when you set in a target ROAS or a target CPA, it does actually act as a break on your account. And what I mean by that is that if you've currently got ROAS of say 200 50 in a campaign, but you want to get 500%. If you set that target ROAS at 500%, the only thing you're going to be doing is limiting your spending 
and stopping all momentum you've got in that campaign. You want to be looking at the real results you've been getting over that larger chunk of time, so at least six weeks, and then set any targets based off the weekly average of those results. Golden rule number four, and this is an important one. You want to separate changing any target settings with any budget increases. A core principle in Google Ads is that it's really, really hard to increase the spending and your profitability at the same time. Now, I'm not saying that it's impossible. You definitely can do it and you definitely will get seasons in that account. But as a general rule, if you're going through a process of increasing the spend in your account, when I'm looking at increasing spend, I'm generally just looking at maintaining my current profit levels. And then when I hit that new target spending goal, then I'll go, okay, let's now work on our profitability. So you're doing those at two separate times. So the last thing you wanna be doing is increasing your spend and adding in a target ROAS or a target CPA, depending on which maximized conversion setting you're using. And golden rule number five, the last one before we get into that screen share so I can walk you through that checklist that I use is that once you make a change, you need to give it time. And what I mean by that is that once you introduce a maximized conversions or a maximized conversion value bidding strategy or add in a new target ROAS or target CPA, you can't just change that after 48 hours because you're not seeing any results. You can't even change it after a week if you're not seeing results. Generally, once you've made that change, I like to wait at least four weeks before I'm making any change. And the reason for that is because quite often over the next week or two weeks, you can see a drop in your results. Remembering what I said with these smart bidding strategies, you're giving Google the power to really take control of your bidding and increase the spending, decrease the spending. Remember with your daily budgets and Google ads is that you may enter that budget daily, but Google calculates it over a month. So if it sees that it's looking at different trends of the month where it's gonna increase your spending, you can get the case where you may have made a change to your smart bidding strategy, waited a week because Google was sort of targeting the next week or certain days of the week for more increased spending, but then you've just removed that. So you need to give it at least least a month before you make any other changes. So with all that said, with those golden rules, let's now jump into a screen share so I can walk you through a quick checklist of how I go through and make these decisions to change anything to do with my bidding strategy. So what I wanna take you through here is, as I said, a bit of a checklist and we're really looking at, is your campaign ready for smart bidding? Now, the one thing that I do wanna note over here is that these steps do not take into account your own data metrics or conversion tracking. So as I said, if you're unsure on anything, you need to wait. And especially when it comes to targets, it's gonna be different for all businesses. We've got some e-commerce clients where they want a target ROAS of 200% because they're focusing on their lifetime value. Whereas for other clients, they need a 900%. So it really comes down to what you're wanting to achieve with your business. In regards to target CPAs, for some lead generation businesses, they need that cost per conversion under $10. Whereas for other businesses, I've seen that as high as $250 or $500 because they've got super high ticket products. So what we're just going to focus on here is the process. The first question that you want to be asking is, and you're going to have a series of questions that you you're going to go through. Has the campaign generated at least 30 purchases or conversions over the past month? That is really just looking at a baseline figure. And what we're really just looking at is, are you getting on average at least one conversion a day? Now, some people will put different numbers. Some will put it at 14, some will put it at higher. The reason why I've sort of come down at 30 is this is just looking at real life data that we're seeing across multiple accounts in multiple industries. I really like to see a benchmark of at least one conversion a day on average before I even consider any type of these smart bidding strategies. So what you need to do from there is that once you've asked that first question, if it is a no, you just need to wait continue to do your optimization actions. But if it's a yes, you can go to this next question of over the past four weeks, have your weekly conversions been stable with no more than a 20% variance? Now, the reason for why I say that's important, this is especially true if you wanna be setting in a target ROAS or a target CPA. Let's just use the target CPA as an example. Let's just say week one, you've had a cost per conversion of $50. Week two, you've had a cost per conversion of $40. Week three, it's down at 35. Week four, it's down at 33. You're seeing it? continue to improve every single week. If you were to add in a target CPA of even say $35, you're then letting Google know that, hey, look, that's the benchmark that we're happy with. But if you just kept that maximized conversion strategy going on with your other optimizations, you might be able to get that cost per conversion down to like $20 or $15 in a matter of weeks. That's why you just wanna wait. Also as well, what I wanna see is when I'm adding in a target ROAS or target CPA, I like to see, as I said, a pretty flat line in my results. So let's switch over to ROAS. So if we had an account that was 
performing at 300 one week, 330 the next, 290 the next, 325 the next, 305 the week after that, I would then be happy at adding in a target ROAS of somewhere around about that 280 to 300% because we haven't seen any variance above that 20%. So once again, that's what you're seeing in your account. Yes, go to the next question. If a no, you just wait again for more results. Remembering all this time, there's no rush in this. You don't have to do this quickly. It's better, slow and steady wins the race. Next question, have you changed your bidding strategy or your target roles or target CPA in the past six weeks? And if that's the case, I just wanna wait. And the reason for that is because these bidding strategies is not something that you fiddle around with all of the time. Remember what I said earlier that you wanna be looking at longer chunks of data. The next question is, have you changed your budget in the past two weeks? The reason for that is, is because remember, as I said, it's really, really hard to be increasing your spend or changing your bidding strategy. Increasing your spend, especially if you've had an aggressive increase of above 20%, your campaign's gonna be going into a new learning phase. If you add in a smart bidding strategy or if you change a target ROAS or a target CPA, once again, your campaign's gonna be going into a learning strategy. So you wanna try and separate them out. And if you've answered yes, yes, and then no and no, you can then proceed with the change to your bidding strategy or adding in that target ROAS or target CPA. The other thing I just do want you to remember is that once you moved over to a smart bidding strategy, you need to also remember to focus on conversion metrics, not CPC. It's highly likely your CPC will go up. What you need to remember is looking at the conversion metrics. Are you getting more conversions at a lower cost or are you getting more revenue at a lower cost? And that's what you really want to focus on. And that's the series of questions that I ask myself before I look to make any changes to my smart bidding strategies with my Google Ads campaigns. Now remember, if you wanted to get that full checklist on how to optimize your Google Ads campaigns correctly, make sure you follow that link in the description below. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and it's been an absolute pleasure having you here. And this video actually wraps up and is the final video in my Get Google Ready for 2025 playlist. And that's a playlist where I take you through not only how to correctly set up all of the different types of campaigns, but also optimize those campaigns that you'll need throughout 2025. And if you wanna watch that full playlist, all you need to do to go and watch this video playlist right here. See you next time.